Hello! We are going to be creating a poster design in Adobe Express through our Clever page. We are going to talk about the principles of design and our first step is actually opening up Adobe. Boys and girls, we are going to be creating our poster designs in Adobe Express. So the first step is opening Adobe. Opening it up, I'm sorry, opening it up and pressing this plus sign. And we are going to create a custom size poster. And you'll see right here, it's in pixels. Well, we're not going to deal with pixels. We need to deal with inches. And we're going to go eight, by 10. Now sometimes this little area is a little bit mm, testy. We're going to scroll down and click on inches. See what it likes to do to me? It likes to change 8 by 10. I don't know if you have this problem, but I think it'll be okay now. Let's press on this button that says create new file. And as we're waiting, it is creating our file. Now, I don't want you to have just a boring old white background, so go up to the top here, and it says background color. Click on it. We can scroll down and look at more colors. You can always change a color during the whole process. You can go back and switch colors and see what you like. Today, I'm going to go with this nice blue. Now, I'm making a poster and I'm focusing on a special person. So I need a good picture of that person. And I need to write their name on the document. Those are our first two design elements. The person's name and their picture. So I'm going to focus on Oprah Winfrey. I click on, I'm sorry, I should do that again. I'm going to click on text and up here on your left it says add your text. I'm just going to delete this so I can do it all over again for you. Click on up on the upper left on this bar add your text and you're going to see it's highlighted and I'm going to highlight it so I can spell Oprah Winfrey. Now she's a very famous African-American woman, a television host, also, this incredible magazine editor. She's pretty much done everything. And she's one of the most famous women in the world and actually one of the most wealthiest. So here's her name. I don't know if I like that lettering. So I can go up here where I'm in text and I want to go to lettering. Look, I can scroll down and pick a different lettering. I, I like this. I want her name to show up very well. And when I scroll down, I see all these different types. Some of them, some of them stand out, and some of them really fade in the background. Right now, I need her name to stand out. Now, I feel like this is a very small name for a poster about someone important. So I need to make her name bigger. Right now, I'm just going to put it at the top, Oprah Winfrey. You need to make sure that the name stands out. It could be at the bottom, it could be at the top, but you don't want it to be too small. This is a poster about her. Okay, that's the first step. The second step is getting a picture of her. I'm going to click over to Google and I'm going to put Oprah and you have to know all the spelling or close to the spelling. And I'm going to put images, Oprah Winfrey images. You're not choosing necessarily Oprah. You're going to try someone different, OK? Now, do you see all these nice pictures of her? Well, they're not all very good for design. You need a large image. So do you see right here it says tools? I'm in images. I click on here, it says tools. Click on the tool button. This is a nice little 
device that I think you'll appreciate knowing about. Once you click on tools, go over to the left and look at this. The first tool is size. We need an image that is bigger so that we can play with design so when we open it up and use it, it doesn't look distorted. So we're going to scroll down and we want a large image. And now it should be giving us the largest images. Now I want a really nice picture of Oprah. I think I'm going to try this. Boy, does she look good in this. That's just, just fantastic. But I kind of like this one. So I'm going to click on it. And you can see on the right hand side here it opened. And look at down here. 1200 times 1600 pixels. That's a big picture. When you see some, some, some of them give you the numbers like 200 times 300. That is a very tiny picture. You're not going to be able to get a very good image of her. It's going to be too small. So I want this picture. It's nice and big. 1200 is a nice size picture. I'm going to drag it on my desktop, but you are going to put yours in your drive. Okay. Now I have her name, Oprah Winfrey. I have to make sure it's spelled correctly. And now I'm going to go to media and upload from device. You're going to look on your drive or your recent documents. I'm going to look on my desktop. I'm not sure if I can use these. I have to change them. There's a JPEG. Okay. So now I'm back, back in my Adobe Express. I am going to upload her picture from my device. I have to make sure it's a JPEG. A ping might work, PNG, we shall see, but right now I'm going to do the JPEG because they always work. And here's her picture. We're not keeping the background. So click on it, remove, excuse me, remove the background. And here she is looking lovely and I'm going to make it pretty large because this is a focus on her life. I could put it up here with some information below her. Here she goes. And you can tell this is a good size picture because look, when I stretch it, she doesn't look distorted and strange. Perfect. Now we're going to fit other things in here. Birth date. If they've died, their date of death, the year. And also something special about her. Like she is an amazing TV host, self-made woman. And here we go. First steps, name, an image. And that should do for the first day. Thank you, boys and girls. Oh, I'm actually, before I leave, I'm going to click up here and I'm going to name it Oprah Winfrey. Click. And if I go back to this little A, Look, I can see it in my recent documents. And if I'm ever afraid that I might ruin it, I'm going to duplicate it. Oprah Winfrey, I'm going to call this next one Oprah Winfrey 2. And I am going to make two copies in case I make too many changes and I don't really like what I've done. At least I have two copies that I can design with. All right, boys and girls, thank you very much. I guess you have some decisions to make about who you want to focus on and how you want to start your design. Enjoy yourself. Boys and girls, these are the principles of design. Rhythm, balance, unity, proportion, contrast, and dominance. We are going to focus on dominance. We would like the name and the image of the person to be the strongest element of design in our poster. How to turn in our projects into your 
Google Classroom. First thing you should do is make sure your project is complete and has been downloaded into your Chromebook files. Look in downloads or recent files and take some time to locate your project. All right, follow these steps. How to turn in your graphic design artwork into Google Classroom. First, download your image as a JPEG into your Chromebook. It should be in your Downloads folder or Recent folder. If you happen to be taking a picture on your camera, it's going to be in your Pictures folder or your Camera folder. Go to My Google Classroom and click on Classwork. Look for the assignment, click on View Instructions. Then, on the upper right hand corner, you click on Add or Create. I think there's a plus sign too. Search for your design in your Downloads or Recent Folders. And once you locate it, click on your design and it will begin to upload into the assignment. 